Children are becoming more advanced each generation, and now, so are their puzzles. And who better than the Octonauts to lead the way? Introducing Annie Block Puzzle Master, the Octonauts. AnyBlock merges physical toys with digital concepts to turn bright imaginations into vivid reality. These 16 familiarly shaped blocks are puzzle pieces for challenges that have various correct answers instead of one fixed one. This opens up a wide range of important educational skills such as problem solving, abstract thinking, and spatial perception. Not to mention, fun! Your kids will love rescuing all the friends with the Octonauts. Through more than 100 different puzzle patterns, AnyBlock helps foster your child's imagination, development, and concentration. 
Finishing the puzzle is only the first step in this creative adventure. Scan completed puzzles with the app and become an octonaut by rescuing the trapped sea creatures. Block is a great way to educate and motivate children through entertainment. Individual puzzle pieces are designed to be used safely by small children. Annie Block has received child safety accreditations and an official educational toy certification from STEM.org. Our Puzzle Master Octonauts isn't something to be finished and forgotten. There are many different playing styles that your child can take advantage of. Anyone over four is welcome to play. Annie Block is designed for older kids too. That means you parents. Grow together with Annie Block. Hello friends and welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola and as always I'm joined by my co-host, my wife, Michelle. Hello, welcome. Welcome uh, to our stream. Um, we got a really special stream tonight. This is something different for us. Uh, we are sponsored tonight by uh, Annie Block um, Incorporated. want to thank them for sending over Puzzle Master the Octonauts. Uh, this is, you can see the box up here. Uh, we have a prototype of it. This is now on Kickstarter. It's already been funded, um, I think, twice over, and uh, they'll be funding for the next couple of weeks. But uh, be sure to check out um, the link there. There it is. Uh, check out the link there and um, get more information on the game. We're gonna. It's it's a puzzly. It's it's a puzzle basically. But they do have some really cool things uh, in the integrated app. We are new to the Octonauts world, um, so we're going to be learning from y'all who um, are parents or just fans of the Octonauts. Uh, we watched an episode, we did some research on the internet. It looks really cool. Like, this is very, I mean, it's obviously very family friendly, but, you know, I like, uh, I think it's uh, Peso the Penguin, and then there's, um, uh, I forget the, the other other characters' names, but y'all show them in, uh, throw them in chat and uh, let us know. Uh, all about your favorite characters in the Octonauts and your favorite puzzle games and everything else. So on Netflix, I just found out, yep. Netflix has this show on it. Yeah. So if you have Netflix here in the U.S., uh, check it out. Um, we, that's where we uh, saw it. I uh, want to shout out uh, Shenanigans. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Amanda Panda is our chat moderator, as always. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, I, you know, I want to give a special shout out. Um, Slackfish. You get the analog alert. Um, Slackfish has renewed his subscription. Thank you, Slackfish, as always. 12 months. You are our, our very first subscriber, I believe, or you're our first to hit 12 months. So thank you, Slackfish. I cannot I, I cannot tell you how much it, it means to us, uh, your support um, throughout the last year. Or, and, um, oh, I'm gonna, Michelle says we should say happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday on your one year um, subscription. Thank you, Slackfish. And folks, Slackfish has cheered 100 bits whenever someone cheers uh -oh. bits on our show. Uh oh. Why you do that? Okay. <laughs> Bruno is here. Our pug Bruno. This is his nemesis. Hello, friends. I am Benny the Bits Bear. You spend bits. I come out of hibernation. I want to thank our friend Slackfish for all of his support. Thank you, Slackfish. Is Bruno awake? Yay. <laughs> I'm going back to hibernation. Thank you, friends. So Bruno, our pug, he's, uh, he really likes um, the, uh, well, I don't know if he likes them or he likes that's, to chew that's on that That's subjective. Puppet. Yeah. Like is subjective. <laughs> totally. Uh, I want to shout out, uh, I almost said hi to Pretzel Rocks. That is our music provider. Um, Daryl McGaiman <laughs> is in the house. Uh, Daryl, thank you for uh, playing a game with me last night. We played Lock Up with the Breakout Expansion. Really cool worker placement game. That's also on Kickstarter. And then afterwards, we didn't, we didn't show this, thankfully. But Daryl and I, for the first time in over a year, almost a year and a half, we played a game of Crokinole. I got the Crokinole board. We did not live stream. We just played. And uh, do I want to talk about how it ended? I, I, yeah, I'm, how did it end? I don't even again, know. Again, I have to give it up. Daryl beat me um, <laughs> fair and square. So um, I beat him in lockup breakout. Then he got his revenge in Crokinole. Um, it was an interesting game. He jumped out the lead 55-0 right off the bat. I was like, oh my gosh, And this guy's been practicing or something. But then I caught up and then took the lead. I think it was like 65-55. Then he just had a big final round. 
Got a couple of dookies. Um, if you don't know, <laughs> Crokinole, you make it in the hole right away. For 20 points, it's called dookie. Um, so, yeah, he, he won. So, kudos to Daryl. I am uh, giving you a shout-out, my friend. And thank you, Amanda, for um, verifying audio and video are good. Board Game Spam's in the house. Show, show some love for Board Game Spam, folks. Um, I think, Board Game Spam, were you streaming earlier? Or are you streaming now? I, I thought I saw Andrew playing a video, Mass Effect, uh, earlier. Uh, Chris says, oh, hi, Chris. Uh, Arlo uh, said, I want to get it about eight times <laughs> over. <laughs> Arlo, hang in there, buddy. We will get to the game. Uh, here, I'll give, uh, we're going to give Arlo a sneak peek. Here's one of the uh, cards. Um, whoops, this one here. That's one of the puzzle cards, Arlo and friends. Um, this is just a very small bit. It's one of the challenge cards we're going to be doing. Uh, Michelle and I are going to be working on this little puzzle with all of the pieces. We do have a prototype. So the thing that you saw in the little commercial before we started, it has all the different colors. We only have a few colors, um, and this is not final yet. The thing we have is not final uh, here, but it is going to be an Optonauts um, Puzzle Master. Uh, Borgames fans, oh, my students love the Octonauts. Nice, Borgames wow. fan, awesome. GV Glenn is in the house. Hi, GV. Uh, no worries about the lurk. Thank you for hanging out. Um, my little will be so excited. They love the Octonauts. Wow, there's a lot of Octonaut fans in the... In the house. Oh, yeah. I had never heard of this before yeah. we got this game. Yeah, me neither. And, I, I, mean, and I guess, you know, it's because we don't have young children. But, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like to think I'm hip to the groove. Apparently, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not hip to the groove. I, I, what the, the animation reminded me, and I'm totally dating myself here, but the Backyardigans. Y'all watch, do you remember Backyardigans? Yeah, I didn't watch the Backyardigans. I think that was also past Lauren's, you know, when little kid stage. Little, yeah, so my niece, when I used to babysit her, it was all about... Actually, no, that was my niece and my nephew. They love the Backyardigans. My other niece was all about um, Max and Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Max and Ruby, that was their her jam. She she would literally, like, I, I learned how to binge watch stuff from my little niece. She used to, she would just, we'd open up the little laptop, and she'd be like, hmm, hmm. She couldn't talk, <laughs> but she wanted Max and Ruby, and she would put that thing on loop for, like, three hours. I'm like, don't you want to watch something else? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Who's the boss here? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Chris says, I expect a turn up dance spray. Okay. What I have no idea what that is. I will we'll, we'll try to figure it out as we go. Oh, oh Bruno wants to come back. Oh, Bruno's okay. going to come back in. Uh, Shenanigan says, it's a Kickstarter project. Amazing. Yes, um, it is. I'll drop it in the chat there. There is the link. Please check it out. Um, let's see. My students love the Octonauts. GB Glazer in the house. Uh, <clears throat> First in the original, yes, uh, Slackfish is the OG. Um, Shenanigans, yeah, uh, Shenanigans, actually, I was inspired by your uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fox puppet, so I ended up getting the bear, uh, named it <laughs> Benny the Bits Bear. So there is the uh, my inspiration, friends, uh, in the chat here. Um, let me see what else we got. Okay, yes, Andrew was playing Mass Effect with a friend who moved far away. Oh, okay, cool. And Slackfish has redeemed a Bruno walk. Uh, where's the Bruno walk at? I've, I've lost all my... Um, okay, no there. walking today. Oh, there it is. is. There he goes. Thanks for redeeming the Bruno walk. And Board Games fans uh, redeemed a Bruno treat. Oh, Bruno. I always like that treat. one. Bruno's been acting weird lately. Huh? Yeah, Bruno's been in a little mood, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? No one cashed it in yet, but we're going to... We'll give you a Bruno trick as well. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love it. <laughs> We have um, to update these. Oh, we do. Yeah, we're going to have to get some new Bruno. Um, he needs to learn new tricks. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, he's got new tricks for y'all. As we start with every stream, friends. Huh? He doesn't have new tricks. Oh, he doesn't? No. Oh, I thought he did. We need to teach him new tricks. No, like, oh, we haven't filmed, um, like, the like Shake Hand. You know, oh, Shake that's Hand. true. Yeah. That's true. Um, we forgot to talk about stream snacks, the most important part of our stream. What are you eating and or drinking, friends? Yeah, take this away from me, please. Uh, Michelle's, we are sharing, um, the, uh, trail mix that, um, I had yesterday with my buddy Daryl. Oh, and then, for drinks today, I've got LaCroix, uh, lime flavor. Yesterday I had the pamplemousse or the, oh, there he is. There's my baby. There's baby. Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Show some love for Bruno, folks. If you have the Bruno yeah. emails, please drop them in chat. He's he's a good boy. He he really is. He's been a little, little in a weird mood lately. But yeah. thank you, friends. Um, we couldn't find him the other day. He wasn't in his usual spots. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> hi, Ben. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, that was, was weird. Yeah, I was like, because you know, like some animals just like go somewhere to die. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but you know, I was like, oh my gosh, where's Bruno? Trying not to be panicked. 
And he just, he was in the bathroom. He decided he wanted to sleep on the rug. He did not lock himself in this time. This was <laughs> he has a, locked himself yeah. in the bathroom yeah. by mistake. Oh, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> thank you for the Bruno emotes. Board Games fam and, and friends, thank you. We love you, Bruno. Tail Wagon Games, hi. Thanks for joining us. Slackfish with all the Bruno emotes, all the hearts. Um, Board Games fam's got chicken pot pie. Yum. I haven't had a chicken pot pie in years. I can't remember the last mm. time I had we, Same. Yeah. Wow, that sounds really good. I, I'm i pretty sure I had one of like Marie Callender's like a decade ago or something like that. Oh, look at him. Look at Bruno. Uh, Hi, baby dog. Ooh, Slacker's got Thai food on the way. Very nice. Mike Garb's mm -hmm. in the house. Hi, Mark. Mike, thanks for joining us. Um, we are going to be playing the Puzzle Master, the Octonauts, in just a few minutes here. Just want to settle in as always and you know show off the pug. He's got his curly tail going. He's a good boy. Oh, Bruno. Right, Bruno. How are you doing? Uh, tomorrow, I do want to remind you, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with the Isle of Cats uh, Explore and Draw. That's the Roll and Write. Uh, that one, yeah, I'm super pumped about that. I mean, I'm, I'm pumped about this one too, but yeah. Uh, Isle of Cats uh, Explore and Draw, another one that's on Kickstarter. They're, they're going to raise, I think they're going to raise a million dollars. It's Really? It's crazy. You know, I'm going to, let, let's check in real time, folks, um, how much uh, they've raised on Kickstarter. Oops. One, two, three. Bye, Bruno. Oh, Unless y'all know off the top of your head what uh, they've done. Uh, Kickstarters. Oh, speaking of Kickstarters, hey, that's a perfect segue. Uh, <laughs> friends, or what? <laughs> let, me, uh, let me let you know. Uh, the newest episode of Good Looking Kickstarters is <laughs> now available uh, for your viewing pleasure over there on YouTube on the Good Time Society channel. Becca Scott and I host a bi-weekly show where we look at all the uh, Kickstarter projects that we're into, and this week we had a bunch of one, a uh, bunch of really cool projects that um, one of the like behind the scenes things I wanted to share was as we we're prepping for the show, um, you know, me, Becca, and the producer, we, you know, we we talk about we, what we were going to cover, and as we get excited about stuff, there's a couple of times where Becca and I are just like back it even before we go uh, start recording and there was one i backed um actually was it yeah one that i backed immediately um which is a funny thing called tiger oh my gosh tiger crystal die dice or something mm -hmm. it's a little tiger figure a little crystal um gem and a little 20-sided die and you roll them it's sort of like past the pigs when you roll it and then you get the number of points on the die you get the Depending on how the tiger lands, you get points on that. And if the crystal, the pyramid lands as a pyramid, it's like certain points. If it lands on the side, it's certain points. And the object of the game is to get to exactly 99 points. If you go over, then you get knocked down to, back down to like 50 or something. Oh, yeah. ouch. But <laughs> the one thing is, if you land, the tiger lands on its back, it is unfortunately not around. It's been killed for whatever reason. And you're out of the game. Oh. Or you cannot use the tiger anymore. Or I think like you're out of the game. All? Yeah, at all. And if everyone's tiger gets, uh, that goes extinct, the game is over. No one wins. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a really, um, the, it's just a funny thing that I thought was clever. It's like a totally, you know, just silly little thing. But, you know, that's what Kickstarter is all about. Being silly and, you know. Uh, let me see the Isle of Cats. Isle. 550K raised. Oh, okay. Nice. Cats. Thank you, Mike. I was just gonna okay i don't have to go to kickstarter anymore yeah that's half a million in a day amazing i'm a backer nice mike and how much did they want uh they started i think the goal was like eight uh forty thousand or something oh wow yeah wow. I, I remember it was like 40 or 50 I, I it was like converted over from uh uk uh, from pounds, pounds to uh yeah to uh, u.s dollars but yeah um so ch check out that show if you can i'd really appreciate the support and uh let's get to octonauts shall we and friends, we shall. yeah, l let us know in chat about this show because we don't know this show as well as all of y'all. Um, switch over here. Whoop. Hey, here we are. The Octonauts. So, these blocks here, very solid blocks. Again, these aren't the final colors. Um, these come in different, they're like polyominoes, basically. So you have like, you know, I call it like the Tetris pieces. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. So here's one I'll throw on the big screen here. Like ah. 3D Tetris. Yeah. So these are very similar to, I guess, that product that rhymes with Egos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not. Uh, but these come in various shapes. 
they're all the same size. They're they're pretty thick. Um, I don't know if you all can see, and these are pretty pretty ginormous. And what you do is Michelle has a couple of uh, four boards there. Uh, there are three different sizes that we have. We have the small, meet, uh, double, and then quadruple. We're going to start with each with a small. I'll move these off the side, and we're going to talk about the challenges later. But what we're going to do is start with one of these, and we each have our little puzzle here. Okay. And what we're going to do is, depending on the color, you want to match the shapes, right, and fill in the black. Um, for me, I've got the black and the white, and I'm going to fill it in like that. And this is for these Octonauts here, right? These characters um, here. And then Michelle's got those. I got a turtle. A turtle. And I've got um, this guy with a little hat. Oh, oh a fish. This is the, the thing, yeah. Okay. So, ooh, that's a fish. The fish, yeah. Okay. And then what's cool is, after you've done the puzzle, we have the, uh, the app. So we're going to use our iPad. And we're going to scan this, and then what's really neat is you're, you're going to have some characters come to life, which is really, we were like pretty impressed by the uh, technology here. It's, it's, it's really neat. So what we're going to do now then, um, yeah, why don't we just do the puzzle, Michelle? Okay. Yeah. So, um, oh, I guess I should have looked at this, so. Um, those are too big. Yeah. I don't need those. I'm going to have to grab some of these from you. That's fine. I'm not using them. Yeah. Okay. So this obviously fits right there. I don't know. I I gotta see what pieces are available to me. If you'll see, they they lock Oops. in really. It's a really solid connection here. So it's just you know you just pop them right in there. Excuse me again. Ooh, I've got this okay. piece here. And then Oops. This piece here. You know, I used to tutor um this little girl. And she was. I don't know, third grade, fourth grade at the time, and there was this app that she was using that was kind of like this, uh -huh. um, where it gave a shape, and you it gave like little polyomino type shapes, or any shapes really, uh -huh. and you had to try to make them all fit. Okay. Like a tangram. Right? Mm. Isn't that what they're called? Tangrams? And I, I don't remember. Uh, Mike says, my daughter watched this all the time. The creature report song was her favorite. Okay. <laughs> It sounds fun. I have no idea what that is, but... I need to hear the song. Yeah. Now we need to watch. <laughs> okay, so that's obviously got to go there. Dude, this is harder than it looks. Okay, this goes here. So I used this piece already. <laughs> so maybe I okay, can guys. All oh. the light, light blues. Michelle, finishing strong. Well, I like these types of games. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, we're, bi we're big puzzle fans. Um, so obviously this is just, you know, a smaller puzzle, but... It's, I mean, I feel like it's like the right thing for, you know, I think they're gearing it towards obviously younger children. Um, but as a teacher, Michelle, I mean, these type of things teach like, um, like I mean, patterns, pattern recognition, and, right? Yeah. And I mean, just like that leads to so many more things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could have, I mean, there are so many kids that, um, like I teach that struggle and granted, it's a low-income neighborhood, and a lot of the um, students, like, test very low, you know, for for different reasons. I mean, they've all experienced some kind of trauma. And, oh, did I get it? Oh, I'm missing one. Um, they've all experienced some kind of trauma, so that does something to, you know, the brain connections and, you know, not being able to get things right away. So, in fact, I was helping this one kid today. <laughs> Mind you, or the test was on functions <laughs> and there was one part where she had to like add a positive and a negative number together and she didn't get the whole like number line concept so it was like oh my gosh we have to go that far she i mean she's not ready for this but you know i was trying to help her as much as i could <laughs> you know you want the light bulb to go on and honestly i think like with her i can't do this what am I it would have been like she's one that I think would get get it better face to face, cause yeah. she, um, yeah, there are just some things that are just easier taught in person. Yeah. Why am I not doing this? <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm, so this is good for adults right too. <laughs> oh. um, just um, look in the last two minutes of any episode. Okay, cool. Thanks, Chris. The video said four plus. 
Okay. Oh, oh, did I, where's this piece that I need? Mm. Oh, here we go. What am I, oh, I'm missing this one. This one I want to use twice, that's the problem. For adults too. Is yeah. it possible for Ruel? Is it possible for Ruel to lose? Yeah, absolutely. I've lost it. I won. You Michelle's see? won already. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe she can help me with this. Okay, so okay. this is gonna go. Oh, there. I put this. I just figured it out. Look at that. Woo. Okay, so we have both solved our mini puzzles here, but we are not done, friends. Let us go to the app. Um. <clears throat> okay, Octonauts. There it is. On the iPad, touch the start. And now, um, let's do the rescue. Okay. And then it's going to, can y'all, let me move over here a little bit. We're going to scan this. I haven't seen this done in real life, in I, I mean IRL. Okay, is it the, oh, I'm supposed to, oh, pattern selection. So I'm supposed to choose uh, this one here, which is, who, who is that? That's the little fish, this one here, right? No. That's a frog. Oh, that's a frog. Okay, so now the app, okay, goes there, squishes it down. And the Octonauts, I know, I've learned that they are in the, uh, in the, uh, under the, uh, under the sea, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a different show. Oh, different one. Okay. So now that this uh, little character has popped up, now we have to find all the frogs. So I need to use this here, and can you find a frog for me? Is that a frog? No. I can't see because of the glare. Yeah, the glare is sort of weird. Okay. So he's just going to walk around, and, um, wow, I'm doing horribly. Is that a frog? My, uh, I don't know. Yeah. That's an octopus. Well, I, I hit the wrong one. I'm, I'm totally going to lose. <laughs> okay, so it says to go this way. Okay. Uh, this is to run, so let's make this dude go this way. <coughs> um, where are you at, frogs? Okay. Okay, so Mike apparently knows somebody is named Shellington. Oh, Shellington, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so I got one frog. I'm all proud of myself. <laughs> I got two frogs. What's up? Your board game spam says my students love app integration in their toys. It's a perfect way to get kids who only like tech to try low-tech toys games. Yeah. yeah. And now look at that. I scored negative 29. <laughs> cause I, obviously because I don't watch the Octonauts. Uh, but yeah, that's what you do. And then, let me see. I think it clears out. Yeah. So um, during our practice rounds, we got we became friends with a whale um, and a fish. Uh, that was earlier today. And then this one here, the frog, we just showed up. So it's a poison dart frog. So there's the poison dart frog. You can make them like flip and stuff. Um, this, I think you can. Wee! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Uh, and then you can go to the world and you're going to explore all the different worlds um, in the Octonauts, I believe. Okay. Oh, this is back to where we were. Oh, what's that? World map. So you can hit the map there, shows that, and so forth. The challenge. Oh, I think that's the more we're gonna. We'll get to the challenge in a little bit. But um, <laughs> hi, friends. Hi, James. I'm driving home. I figure I could lurk and listen. Yeah, be careful on the drive. Don't don't uh, don't get hurt there. But this is really neat. Um, they were on the website, uh, the Kickstarter page as well. They do talk about how this is a. Um, I forget. It's a STEM organization, like um, uh, either recommended or approved uh, game. Uh, using the tech integration uh, with the uh, puzzle. Uh, let me hand this over to Michelle. So we'll go here and then find your little puzzle. It's the one with the turtles? Yes. Okay. I can't see because there's a glare. Glare here. I'll, I'll just give it okay. to you. Okay. So turtles. Okay, I didn't think I would need my glasses, so I didn't bring them. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> So where am I looking for the turtles? Um, what I was doing was just looking for... Um, like in the little corner? Like yeah, this like is... up here. I was just trying to match the pattern. Wait, what up here? Up, like the turtles up here. There's oh. like some of the art here. Um, 
And then what's in the... Uh, the okay, it's like There's a blue one. turtle down here, and there's green turtles up here. Yeah, okay, so blue and green. Oh, okay, and you can... Okay, so we're doing these small ones down here, so... Um, this one right here. Oh. Okay. Okay, so... I'm supposed Bring to... Bring it up. Yep. You know, like when you like scan your yeah. check, <laughs> this is a dude. Totally. Okay. Okay, and then it's, uh oh. What the is bear that? Bear said no. I don't know what that means. Uh, go ahead and just hit Sorry. the button. Okay. Oh, I have uh, to do it again. No, no, it's no. doing it for you. Okay. All right. So Michelle has Ooh, unlocked. Shake earthquake. What have you unlocked? A turtle. Oh, it was like it's a pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have to find those turtles or whatever. Oh. Good and what you do is you're going to tilt the iPad, and then you make that, them run towards... Is that a turtle? I think so, yeah. I, don't, I can't. Like, I don't know. I'm yeah, you got it. That's one. Nice. These. Two. Look at that. Michelle's kicking... Uh, or I was going to say something. She's uh, killing it right now. Trying to keep it a family-friendly show. Hey, that is a turtle. Yeah. You want to go, like, past it a little bit? It's not... Yeah, what I did was, think? like... Whoops. Oh, time's up. Hey, you scored 51. That's like <laughs> That's way better negative. than one. Yeah. Oh, you did get that third one at the very end. Oh, okay. Nice. Sweet. So there it is. Okay. You have cleared that. And it should go to the world. Yeah, you have a friend, a turtle now. I have friends. Michelle made a friend. Folks. I have four friends. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So that's the first like mini one we just did. This is just one tile. And now Michelle and I will do the um, double one. Do you want this on your side? Um, which one? The, the yeah, thing. I'll, I'll put the app over here. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now we're going to do these. These are uh, double size. I'll give you this one. Okay. Cool. So those are yours, and Thank these you. are mine. Awesome. We're just going to connect these. These are uh, really easy to connect. Just... They have these little notches. Wait, how long is this? Maybe I don't know how to do it. There it is. Okay. Um, Did you do yeah. Give you this one. Um, okay. What do you have? You have the, the squid? Yes. All right. And I have this one. I don't know. This Is this... Uh... No, it's not Pestle. Pestle was the uh, penguin. I don't know. Anyone know this uh, character's name? Let us know. So I'll be looking at the black and the light blue for this round. Okay, so I'm looking at these. Oh, uh, maybe we should switch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make it easier. Oh, I was just going to give you the whole thing. Oh, okay. okay. So there's black in there. And I got white and dark blue. Okay, so those are yours. Yep. These are mine. Cool. Okay. All right, here we go. So now I am trying to do the squid one, and Michelle will be trying to do the little bear. I keep thinking you're going to say Squidward. Squidward. Um, Chris says Sheldon. Okay, Sheldon, thank you. Why that play? Hi, I just got home from walking, and so I'm a little late. Oh, no worries, uh, Why that play? Thank you. We just started. Uh, we've got this puzzle, the Puzzle Master, the Octonauts edition. And let's see. It's Michelle and I are just doing these little puzzles. I'm not here. using that. Not this one. Or that one. Hmm. Might need that one. Not that Aha. one. Aha. I did better this time. That at least. Oh. Okay, I'm having a problem here. <laughs> Do I have something that is one, two, three? I can't even see. Five? Oh, I don't have one that's five across. Or even Little big thumbs. Four. Hi, thanks for joining us. Little big thumbs. Little big thumbs. That's a great I love it. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Well, that plan didn't work. <laughs> if I do this. Take a walk here. Do, 
this. Oh, okay, that, that'll work. Here. And yay! Did it. My plans are not working. I thought this one would be so simple. Yeah, that one looks tougher. No, Sheldon is tougher. Little Big Thumbs, I like how these bits lock in place. Yeah, they're rock solid. Uh, they've been, according to the website, as, uh, they've also been like safety tested as well um, for kids four and up. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Board Game Spam says, yeah, I agree. The bits are have a nice, hefty sound at the end. These are, oh, look, this looks like a little hammer. <laughs> don't that's do this a different home. game. <laughs> yeah, don't do this at home, folks. <laughs> yeah, that's the Tiny Town Hammer. Wow, I, I don't know what to do. Okay, so if I do that, well, do you want to scan yours no, while I try no, to figure I'm, this I'm, business out? I'm hanging out. out with chat. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that plan wasn't, Oops. it's not going I'm to drop one of my snacks. That's going over there. So if I do this. Oh, a little bit close. Yeah, great. My kids that. are four and five. Perfect. Yeah, I'll drop the link to Kickstarter right there. We're a little older than four and five, and this mm -hmm. is a little challenging. Oh, remember that first one? I couldn't, I was like, it took a long time. Yeah. To well, look at how simple this one looks, yet yeah. I still need one here, and I don't have a single oh, square, single, a single okay. cube. Okay. Hey, Tony, thanks for joining us. Um, Almost got top of the zigzag piece at the very top. The zigzag piece? <laughs> Daryl Andrews says, I'm a little older than four and five, and I want to try this. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I mean, I love puzzles. Yeah, we're a big uh, puzzle family. Um, yep, zigzag. This. <laughs> well, I had a zigzag. Oh, you need that oh wait, now I'm missing two. Oh, no. Where is your single one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, but do I... Oh, oh, here it is. Ha -ha. There it is. Okay, mm -hmm. now I just got to do the blue part. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Tony says, goes, oh, yeah, you got it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if I can do this. Okay. Is there another zigzag one? So everyone in chat, have you all been able to do some in-person gaming? Like, we've slowly started uh, opening up our social bubble. Thanks to all the vaccinations. Our friends are being fully vaccinated. Uh, last night I had my buddy Daryl, uh, Daryl B. Gaming, he's uh, joined me last night for a game of uh, Lock Up Breakout, which we really enjoy. We're both worker placement fans, and that one was just, it was it's the jam. So, um, yeah, slowly but surely you're gonna be, we're going to be gaming with uh, people in real life again, which is really nice. Um, Chris says, two times up my brother's yes. Uh, that's, I, I love seeing that, Chris, in, uh, you know, in, in the uh, Slack uh, channel that we have, you know, just seeing everyone, you know, meeting up. And one of these days, I hope to join y'all. I've just been, uh, the schedule's been a little hectic. Uh, Daryl says, oh, still in lockdown in Canada, but living vicariously through others for now. Yeah. You know, we did that for the last year, you know, living vicariously through uh, streams and YouTube videos and everything else. So it's been really nice to uh, finally uh, start getting there. One uh, of my students asked me today if I was going to go see, um, I don't know, some new movie that's coming out. Uh huh. And, because I guess it's coming out this weekend. And okay. I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still don't feel comfortable being in, in an enclosed indoor space. Agreed. Panda says, I can't wait to play a game with you, Michelle. Yeah, finally. We did get to see Panda Panda a couple of weeks ago, which was really nice, with, to live in Dice in L.A. And, um, you know, it was just nice to hang out with our friends again. And we brought games. With, we hung out for like three hours, not, didn't touch a game at all. We just ate laughed and reminisced and all that good stuff i can't remember the name of the movie but it was something that like it's a part not a part two but like the second one and i guess the first um the first not episode the first from part me. from yeah whatever came uh -huh. out like last year oh okay i want to say it's something like it has something to do with silence in the middle oh, or i mean in the, the quiet title. place the quiet place yeah, yeah. quiet place two just came out yeah, yeah. A uh, little big thumb says Atlantic Canada has been in good shape until a month ago. Cases slowly come down here. Hopefully back to the table in a couple weeks. Nice. That's what we like to hear, friends. Uh, Some place we're letting you rent out the whole theater by yourself. I remember that. Yeah. Drive-in theaters. Yes. Yeah, we did do a drive-in last year, which was really awesome. Okay, so we've both done our puzzle. Um, I would do that. What's that? 
I would do that again. Oh, absolutely. Let's get the app going again um, so we can find out our Octonauts. Okay. So I did the squid one. Um, let's so we'll go to the rescue. Oops, go to rescue. Let's find the squid. So it's a this two by thing. Oh, we Michelle got go that one. The drive in with our Southern California local people. Hey, yeah, anyone in Southern California, let's do a drive in uh, party. Okay, so I've done this, so I got my squid. Let's take a picture. Okay, this is going to give my little character. Hey, you got a thumbs up from um, our friend here. Okay, can y'all see that? Okay, let's see what I have to do. I have to. Oh, there's the squid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna have to find a uh, couple of squids here. It's easier for me to see it on, on the screen. Yeah. yeah, on the monitor. Okay, friends, where is the squid? There's one right there. So I'm gonna run just past it so I can pick it up. Uh, here's another squid. Hey, let's run! Hurry! Run out of time! Whoops! Got the second one. There's a third one. Look, I'm getting really good at this, folks. <laughs> Clear! Hey, look! No mistakes this time. Seventy-three. Look at that. Okay, so I've got my squid, and then Michelle. So here's all our friends. We got the whale, the frog, uh, the turtle, the squid, and the fish. Let's go back here. We we'll go to rescue. Because they go, the octonauts go on adventures, and they're like, it's they have like they learn about marine life, and they rescue. Oh, hang yeah, on, the one that we watched, they were. Um, <laughs> The glaciers were like yeah. crumbling, and I was like, "Oh, see, global warming." Yeah, That's it was true. really cool. Okay, there you go. So you don't have to get all of it; you just get part of it. Yeah. Okay, I keep thinking it's like okay. my, you know, okay. when you deposit a check. Yeah, <laughs> a mobile deposit. Okay. Shenanigan says the Octothoughts theme is just played through my head. Awesome. Yeah, the yeah, phone and the app is so cool. Uh, Shenanigans. So awesome. Okay, okay, so now Michelle has to find. So I have to go. Do I press this or what do I do? Uh, just um, tilt it towards the oh, one okay. and then tap just past that item to pick it up. Got there you it. Go. Nice. I think that's the thing. Oh, there's one. There you go. And Hurry go. up! <laughs> that's when you press the run oh. button. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So go right past it and then it will pick it up. I'm going past it. He doesn't want to pick no, it no, up. No, no, see, um, right down here. Yay. There you go. Clear, look at that. I Woo. made one mistake. <laughs> Uh-oh. So let's see, we have another friend. The friend the magnifying glass? Yeah, I think it was like a, what is this right here? It's a magnifying glass. Oh, okay, so I guess, uh, yeah. So I got a squid, um, the magnifying glass. Magnifying glasses, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another double one. Let's try this okay. one here. I'm going to name my magnifying glass. What should I name it? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Barnacles is proud. Oh my gosh. This is like that thing that sounds like Bunge Spob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. Um, give you this one. Okay. And they're just one sided, huh? Yeah. So, how about the same colors? I'll give you this one so same colors. Okay. Okay. What is this? Maggie the Magnifier. All right. Thanks, Amanda. There it is. Maggie, <laughs> Maggie the Magnifier. <laughs> okay. So, this is horizontal. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. This is a little more challenging than I thought it would be. <laughs> so, that probably says something more about my puzzle solving <laughs> skills. But... It's so neat. It's such a neat thing. I, I think it's a cool little concept where you do the puzzle and then you jump on the app and find the animals and, or the items and stuff. I think that's really neat. Okay, so this time I'm going lengthwise here. And I've got little, um, I guess it's a cat with an eye patch. Anyone know the name of uh, Eye Patch Cat? So I'm pretty sure it's not named Eye Patch Cat. Why do. Wait. Chris, thanks for it. stopping by. That was the, la the one I had last time. Have a good night, and uh, have a good night, Arlo. Quasi. Thank you, Chris. So we got Quasi here, the cat with the eye patch. Okay. All right, and let us begin. Wow. 
I do this. Well, that was easy. Now. Oops. Okay. This one was actually super simple. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm getting better for it. Shenanigan says, you know, I think this is the first time I've seen the bear puppet. <laughs> What's his name again? Uh, Benny the Bits Bear. So here on um, uh, Twitch, you spend bits, and then I bust out uh, Benny the Bits Bear. He comes out of hibernation. Ooh, that was a lot of alliteration right yes, there. Yes, <laughs> I love alliteration. Uh, Shenanigans is a Facebook streamer, friends. Um, and I got the idea from she has Mr. Fox, which is her puppet. What does the fox say? The fox says all kinds of stuff when you're on Shen Shenanigans <laughs> channel. Okay. Oh, I know who Shenanigans yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think Mr. Fox and Benny could be friends. Oh, absolutely. I'll have to do some kind of stream, stream together. <laughs> puppet stream. Now, this light part here is not going to be as easy as I thought. Did I already use the twofer? No, I, no. Yes, I did. Darn it. Well, how am I supposed to do this? I did that. Huh. I'm having issues. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, totally like Puzzle Tetris, right? Yeah, Some that's Angigans, a, uh, really what this is. Yeah. Okay, I guess Bruno's not coming back in. Oh, okay. Maybe if I go like that, use those Tetris pieces to go this way. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Two there, this one here. Nope. Huh. Wow, this is harder than it looks. Yeah. Yeah, there is a... I think they're all... They all come, like, with the same basic shape, yep. like, in every color. Yeah, I think it's 16 shapes uh, for each color. Why am I not seeing this? Oh my gosh. So I tried this one here, but I can't seem to make this one fit because I've already used this piece, the double piece. <laughs> Too bad you can't break these apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the C block. Oh, so, yeah. Should okay, I thank you. Awesome. Yeah! Okay. Now I... Thank you. Now I just got to do the blue part. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't have another one of these. That's going to hurt. Okay. That's the thing that they're not, like, they're not doubled like you only have like one, one shape of each, of each piece yep. yeah mm. Ooh, my brain is not understanding some of the shapes okay so if i do that Well, that one's not going to fit anywhere. Where's my corner thing? Did I put the corner thing? Where is that? Oh, there it is right there. Darn it. I put the corner yeah, thing. you can't flip them over. Yep. Okay. Well. Aha! Yes! <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Yes! I have finished, um, oh, what was the name? I forget. Quasi, I think. And I need an L, this L. Quasi, yeah. So I've finished Quasi the cat. And it uh, looks like a flying fish will oh. be the animal that we get. Um... Uh, 
it? No. Not that one. That's not going to fit. This isn't either. This is not going to help me. Because I don't have the single cube. Oh, I would need three single cubes and I don't have those. Mm. <laughs> Harder than it looks. Yep. <laughs> you know what? Ah, I can't use that one either. No. Yeah, there's that certain point where you just start like <laughs> having to shift stuff and I'm like, I can make a hole in this right <laughs> <laughs> oh, Missing so... a single? Yeah. And I don't where know. is the single? I don't know. Oh here. But mm -hmm. So that's where you start shifting stuff. Yeah. Okay. Why not play lurking for a little while or I'm getting ready to hey, have a good lurk, thank you. Uh, James has redeemed a Bruno walk. Let's get Bruno to walk, folks. Um, and I totally mislabeled these things. We're going to say, is this Bruno Lock? That's a Bruno treat. We're going to get all of them for you, James. There's a treat for Bruno. There's Walking Bruno. Thank you for taking Bruno for a walk. And finally, how about a trick? There's Bruno's trick. Oh, I got it. And Michelle completed it. Nice. Okay. <sighs> I knew, I wish I knew about this game a year ago when my kid watched the show every day. <laughs> nice, thanks for dropping tea. in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. that's our Pug Bruno uh, shenanigans. Thank you. Uh, Michelle has completed hers. I've completed mine. <laughs> Just need to make sure I didn't miss any yeah. up here because I can't see. <laughs> so let's get the app. All right. Let's see what friends we have now. So we're going to rescue. I have Maggie the Magnifying Glass. Maggie the Magnifying Glass. <laughs> that's I have, my friend. I have a... Um, uh, Frank the flying fish. <laughs> so let's see. Flying fish is. Um, where's that flying? Here it is. So flying fish here. I'm going to press that. And do 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 do. When is this game coming out? Um, I have to check the Kickstarter. I, uh -huh. I don't know the exact date. I want to say end of this year. Okay, so here we go. Let me get this here. Going to have to find some flying fishies, folks. Perhaps you could use Maggie the magnifying glass, oh, my friend. I will need that. Okay, where's okay? This is a flying fish here. Let's run, hurry! All right, got one. Where's the other flying fish he's at? Uh, oh, right there, right in front of me. Run. Okay. <laughs> and the third one's all the way down here. Do 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 do. And hey, sixty-nine points, no mistakes. Three, I've. Well, I didn't. I got a higher score last time, but at least I made a friend in Frank the or was it, was it Frank the flying fish? I don't know. I think you're making things up now. Yeah. Okay. There's <laughs> there's my friend right there. So. Um, it's right next to my friend Maggie, the magnifying glass. Yeah. Let's. Where is Maggie? There's Maggie. All right. Uh, so rescue for Michelle. She's going to find. Uh, what do you have a color like a, just a regular fish? Yeah, it looks like a rainbow. Fish. Rainbow fish. Okay. So let's. Get this here for the rainbow oh. fish. Um, it is. Uh, oh, you just look for the it's shapes. It's blue and. and I was gonna say red, blue and black. Those are the more. Oh wait, so um, you're just looking at these right here, the ones that are lengthwise. Oh, there. Okay. All right. So hey. Recognize. Oh. Yep. It says I better recognize. Okay, then you just click that, and you'll be ready to go to. Get your little friends. And we've got a raid coming in. All right. Phantom Meeple. Um, Phantom Meeple, we're going to give you the raid in just a second. Michelle is getting her little... Um, we're using the app. We are playing Puzzle Master, the Octonaut. So she's gonna got to find her fish friends right now. Oh, fishies. All right. We she's got to find fishes. three. I have to find three fish. I believe it's three fish. Go! Hurry! <laughs> hurry! And you can press that run button if oh. you want to make it go faster. Is that a fish? Run! Oh, no. Get it! Oh, come on now. You got to go past it. Uh-oh. Where are those fish? Is that a fish? Uh -oh. I don't know. Come on! Get So you're trying fish. to look for that one in the bubble. Oh, I yeah. thought I was looking for this one. Okay, there. So it tells me which one I need to look for? Oh, where 
is it now? Uh-oh. Oh, no, I don't know. Uh-oh. My fish, like, swam away. <laughs> Why is it? It keeps telling me to go, like, that way. Yeah, oh, right. I think I was supposed to tilt it the other uh, way. Uh, I had uh, six uh. mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's say hi to our friend, uh, Joe Fan of Meeple. Thank you for the raid, friend. Uh, where's my raiding hat? I, I lost my raiding hat. Oh, there it you is. You want to borrow Daryl's? Uh, no, we'll use Daryl's when he goes. In. If you want to uh, use it, that'd be great. That's all right. <laughs> Fan of Meeple, thank you for the raid. Folks, if you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello, welcome. We host Tabletop Tonight here Tuesday through Thursdays, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. We play all kinds of board games. Uh, tonight, we are playing... Puzzle Master, the Octonauts. There's right there. It is now on Kickstarter. You can check out the info in chat right there. It's been fully funded already. This is a really cool puzzle game uh, uh, geared towards kids. And it's got this really cool element where you use the app uh, to bring the Octonauts to life. Uh, the Octonauts is a, a children's show from a few years ago. It's now on Netflix. We just watched an episode. Uh, we are new to the, the whole Octonauts world. And we're having fun with this. Thank you, Joe, for the... Uh, Raid, let us know what you played and how, how the stream went. Thank you. Okay, so Tail Wagon Game says, Oh no, do you not get a friend if you f fail? Uh oh. I guess not. I don't know. I pressed the next button already. Oh, I pressed okay. the arrow button, so. Okay. I didn't even look. I was distraught. Okay, let's uh, go to our rescue. Get this here. So let's. Maggie, find... the magnifying glass will be my friend. Yeah, so let's <laughs> go to the world. <laughs> what world were we in? We were in this one here, I believe. I ask myself that every day. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, you didn't oh, get the friend. Oh, I'm sorry, no. I got Maggie. I okay. got Maggie. <laughs> so you didn't get the fish friend. But that's okay. Um, whoops, let's turn this off. Let's get on to the biggest challenge of the evening, friends. Uh, we are going to do. We'll help. We'll help each other out for this one. We are going to bring on the four by uh, the four squares, and we're going to do this one the whale. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What's a good name for a whale, folks? Let's, unless there's... Does anyone know the actual name of... Oh, no, this is Quasi. That's Quasi. So Quasi is going to look for a whale. Shamu. Shamu. <laughs> well, let's, that's probably trademarked. Um, Shimu. <laughs> As you can see, Michelle just putting together the little um, base... Very easy to connect. So we have a okay. two by two grid, and there is the well. Oh, so we're just doing the black and white pieces for this one. Um, as you can see on the Kickstarter page, um, when the final version is out, this is a prototype. The final version is going to have a lot more colors. I don't even know if it's going to have black and white, um, but uh, this is just a prototype that we're playing through. Uh, more Texas. I've watched so much Octonauts and. Wildcrats the last two years, but not nearly as bad as other pro kid program. Nice. Uh, Fat of Meeple is playing Cuphead tonight. Nice. Apparently, I wanted to be uh, wanted to torture myself. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay. Right. So here we go. Where Michelle and I are just going to we'll team up for this one. Where's the three by three? That's what I need. That's not going to work. This. Oh, you got that little piece. Okay, so I can't use this. Yeah, if this is the oh, only look at that. one. Oh, oh. yeah. Um, I well, should be able either to... this one or the two, two and, and the one. one. Okay, I'll use the two and one. Here. So I'll need it right here. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, so it's actually easier for me to see oh, it here. there. Okay, so that one. Okay, that's done. I got. I have the easy part, folks, with the whale. Michelle's better at puzzles than I am, so we'll let her uh, do this. I don't know about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here, you can help. Okay. Let's see. I feel like we're going to use every single piece on this one. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. Because there's so much to cover here. Okay, so that fits there. I'm going to put this here. Is there a little one? Yep. A little L? Okay, and there is a single here. 
I kind of want to, like, save that. Yeah, <laughs> I might save that single, too. Okay. Not many people have a good lurk, friend. Slivers in the house. Hi, Slivers. Thanks for joining us. It's the Masked Singer finale. <laughs> oh, uh, hey. Enjoy, friend. Enjoy. Okay, that's not going to work, because we're going to need some yep. singles. Okay, what about this block here? Do we have the long? No. No. Okay. We do have this T one. Okay. LT will cover that. And this. Yes. Is the last shape. Look at that. Nice one. Next time, close your eyes. Yeah. Look at that. We did the whale, folks. So, uh, let's have Michelle. Uh, take a picture. Take the picture. Uh, let's find the whale. Oh, it took the picture. Yeah, you just tapped that. Um, oh, I thought it took it, you know, like, when yeah. you take the checks, or, you know. Do Joe Wagon, new do teamwork, yeah. Do you want to find the whale? I think I do. Yeah. All right, here goes Michelle. Yeah, we're looking for Shamu. Shamu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm looking for Shamu. Mm -hmm. Go. Okay, there's one. Yay. Yay! Is it, like, not... Oh. Yay! Okay, here's... a thing. Hey, where'd I, it go? I got stuck. Oh. Oh, there. It just moved on me? It does oh, move! Yay. Oh, yay! You gotta be fast, I guess, to get these, uh... Jeez. Get these animals. Oh, that's why they have the run button, too. Run! So, Oh, there's one. Oh, there it is. Ah! Ah! Run! Run, run, run! Over here! No! Uh-oh. Man! <laughs> go past it. Remember, go past it. There you go. Run! Run! There's one right there. Go! Run! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Get the whale. Oh, I mean, Those seven. whales are teasing you. <laughs> Right? Oh my gosh, I oh got no. zero points. Oh no. <laughs> I have no friends I except no Maggie friend. the magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do this now. Um, let's show off this. So the next part that we want to show you, uh, go ahead and clear the board, please. Okay. We have these challenges. So each challenge, there's a bunch of these cards. We just had, we got, I, I believe, five of these. There's gonna be a bunch more. So in, when you kickstart this, there's gonna be like over a hundred puzzles that you can do. Um, this is challenge number one. I don't know if it'll show up on the green screen. Yeah, it's a little see-through because of the colors. But you you take the pieces that they show you here, and that's why you're gonna complete the challenge. And then also on the back, they have three more. So those are, let's do one of these challenges, shall we? Um, so okay. we'll do challenge number one. Michelle will get these pieces. So the one, three, four. Where'd they go? Okay, there's one. So three. using these pieces is how you, uh, the way they, you want to uh, complete the puzzle. And each one's different. And these have those. There's a small L. Okay. Then the there's block. Four block. And then... Little T. Little Z's. T. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. No. This one here. And this one. Nice. Okay, then the L's. Mm -hmm. Here's the L. Here's the other L. Yes. And this is that one. The W. And the big L. And the big T. All right. So we're not going to use those over there, just these. All right. And we're going to try this challenge now. This is uh, challenge one. Uh, go ahead and start. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I should start. Okay, I'm going to get the app. I believe there's a challenge thing here. Let me see. Challenge, yeah. Do they have a timer? So, yeah, here's the challenge in the app. Um, you, can, you can use these here, and then you would check your answer as well. Change Oops. challenge. Nope, I don't want to change. Black. Okay, so it gives you the white pieces, and then gives you the black pieces, which I think is this the one? Oh no, this is this is, this is different than this. I think, yeah. Or maybe it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, ten, thirteen, five. Oh, bring us back. 13. I think these are the same. Yeah, these are the same. Uh, just listed in a different order. Hey, Bruno, our pug is back. 
So this challenge um, is the same thing here. It gives you the black and the white pieces. Let's look at the white pieces. I'll get those. Um, this one, this one, Hi, Bruno. Oh, single, the L, the Z, it's not that Z, the C, oh, my goodness. and then the C. Oh, big boy here. Hey, Bruno's back. Big boy. Hey, Bruno. Oh. Hey, there's even doing a trick. <laughs> Bruno, oh, you sweet boy. Okay, so we're doing the challenge. And uh, thank you for redeeming the oh, <laughs> Slivers. I see what you did there, Slivers. <laughs> slivers is cheered 100 bits. That means we bring out Benny the Bits Bear right when Bruno's here. All right, all right, Slivers. Let's see, let's see what Bruno does. So, <laughs> hello, friends. <laughs> I'm Benny the Bits Bear. When you spend bits, I show up, and Bruno is biting <laughs> my tail. Ah! <laughs> Ah, ah, Bruno. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Slippers. <laughs> Thanks, Bruno. <laughs> Shenanigans, I gotta head out for a dinner, but it's been nice seeing you. Thank you for joining us, Shenanigans. Much appreciated. We'll see you soon. Oh my god. At least you got to see Bruno attack Benny. Let's get back to the oh. game, shall we? Hey, Bruno. <laughs> oh, that was great, uh, Slippers. Good call. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna. Okay, this, this. I gotta move this one here because this one does not belong there. Okay. Oh, oh Bruno's looking for some friends too. Bruno, you and I and the magnifying glass can be friends. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, Bruno, do you want to come over here, buddy? Okay, I'll grab him. You're trying to get um, Benny the bit spare. He said, "There's my friend." <coughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see some hashtags Team Benny. Anyone? <laughs> Thanks, James. Uh, there's oh, the Team Bruno. Sweet boy, Bruno. <laughs> oh, Slivers, that was so funny. Hey, Bruno. Um, there's Team Bruno from Panda Angel. Hi, sweet boy. Oh. Bruno's met uh, Amanda a couple of times. Huh, Bruno? That's your friend. <laughs> okay. You want to go back down, buddy? Okay, good Here boy. This. All right. This. Yeah, the white one was easy. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't talk so soon. Okay, I got oh. this. I got this. You got it? Yeah. Nice. Finish that. There's the challenge. Woohoo. So we go to the challenge. So check answer. And it tells you. It should, I don't know if y'all can see that. But here it is here. And then you can check your answer. And it shows you exactly where each shape goes. Oh. And so we've got the white one here. This one here. The single. Uh, the little Z. The double and this, and then the black one, you have the L here, and so forth. Isn't that neat? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. And you can change the challenge uh, to the second one, which is on the flip side of this card. Uh, that's the white one, and then you have the black pieces as well. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Really cool um, app, and the, you got all the different worlds here. Let's do another one. Let's change out the um, the puzzle here. Is there another four grid one? There is. Let me get that. And it has a challenge as well. Let's do, oh, let's do this octopus. Okay. Oh, that one looks like it's hard. Yeah. Okay. Thanks again for hanging out with us tonight, folks. <laughs> we all know Slivers is Team Chaos. <laughs> Team Chaos, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if she, she, I don't think she's here, but Michelle Ridge was definitely Team Chaos last night. Her and Amanda. <laughs> I caught bits and pieces of yeah, that. that. That was a lot of fun. Bruno and I were doing yoga. <laughs> yeah, we were playing. Okay. okay, so let's do this challenge. You know, we can look it up on the app since we have it here. Challenge. Um, oh, we have to select guide. Oh, that's all in reality. Um, where's the all oh, this? 
Um, the octopus is. I'm just looking for the octopus shape. Yeah. All right, and then so here is we'll do the dark blue pieces. Yes, Bruno was doing the sleeping dog pose. <laughs> We'll call it child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we'll get the light, oh. light pieces. Oh, you can do the light pieces there. And I'll go okay. off the card for the dark pieces. Okay. So I need one, two, three. You no, know, this is a good way to get kids to organize stuff. Oh, yeah, I right. I have some that are so disorganized. And there you try to hold their hand through things. And I mean, I had a kid today, we're working on math, and the child did not have a pencil and paper. Mm. I think of our goddaughter. Um, we gave her animal upon animal. <laughs> um, and Michelle, oh, you want to share that story? Yeah, it was really cute. Um, so she's two. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously she doesn't grasp the concept of the game first but you know we were just giving her the pieces and she started categorizing them by color and I was like oh <laughs> she's a genius <laughs> she is a genius okay so I'm gonna start with the dark blues for now okay and we'll check our answers on the app after we're done we are building the octopus Our niece's favorite thing was an octopus. Oh, that's Ollie right. The octopus. Ollie the octopus. For a while, oh, it was, it was kind she of gross. That was her lovey. Yeah, she <laughs> loved that thing. It was really gross after a while. <laughs> it, it did get a little dirty. <laughs> it was well loved. It was well yes, loved. Yes, yes. Um, what's the minimum age of this game? Um, according to the Kickstarter page, they say four and up, and it has been STEM org, uh, STEM dot org approved or recommended. Uh, they also said it's been uh, safety tested as well. Um, but again, your your mileage may vary depending on your child. Um, and you know, as adults, this has been a little bit challenging as well. Lot, it, it's been a lot of fun. Okay. I think I got these. I got my blues. Okay. I feel like this is the modern day um, version of, you know, those little like square cubes that had holes in it and they were different shapes and you have to put like the, the little shape in oh, yeah, the, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. right shape on the little ball thing or right. whatever. Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't fit and you're just like pushing it. <laughs> yeah, you got to make it fit. Okay, this is definitely harder. Did you try this one now? No. I'm trying to save something for here. Oh. I mean, go ahead and just, yeah, maybe, okay, I could do this and this, but then we have to make everything else fit. So this can go, no, just kidding, can't go there. It can go here. Do we have, oh, we don't have a little two. Yeah, I just put it right here. Do you have a zigzag one? Put the zigzags over here. Both zigzags are here. Oh, okay, here we could do this though. Oh wait, that's a hole in the middle. <laughs> okay. You gotta rethink this business now. Okay. Okay, let's start from the from scratch here. I just put this here. I don't know. It could be here. Maybe. Well, I need something like this over here. Oops. Wait, where's the other zigzag? Oh, you used it. Yeah. So I had both zigzags right there where you were ah, going to go. But okay. Just in case. See, but that would go there. Yeah. I mean, we could do the C, but again, I, I would, you know, you want to sort of save that single. 
I feel like this one's an odd one. Why will this not fit? There you go. Okay. And this, no, that one cannot fit there, but it can fit there. Looks like a fun puzzle, the physical version of cats. Uh, you can see cats stacked neatly. Oh, okay. Quirkle blocks that you can organize by shape or color. Nice. My daughter will love this. I need to look this up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Corthane. And uh, we'll drop the link one more time in chat. There you go. Check out the Kickstarter. It is fully funded and it's got a oh. couple of more weeks uh, on Kickstarter. That's not going to work here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the T. This is the T. Okay. Gotta shift some things around here. Yeah. Because this is not it, apparently. You know, maybe I, I put this three here. Maybe it could be the big L. Do we have a four? Oh, that's the four. Okay. Right. And this can go here. Okay, what do we need here? How's the C? Do we have a small L? No. Or a two and a one? A two and a one we do have. Okay. But the thing is, we're in trouble now because of all the other stuff. What What do we have left? A, L, a couple of L's in the line. Oh, well, that's not going to work. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> ah. That was a tough one, folks. That one's not part of it, huh? The, the, no. the short T? Yeah, they said the short T is not. Again, we're doing the challenge, friends, so the challenge here... Um, oops, we'll see through, but we do not get that little T. Huh. Now, on the other challenges, there are th three challenges on the card. The, those both get the uh, little T, but the first one we do not. Can you imagine playtesting this? Oh, I know. <laughs> Just like coming up with the game you Yeah. Made. Okay. Let me do that. And yeah, see that little T would be perfect right there. I'll look at the cross there. Or is that what we had before? I don't even remember. Yeah. Okay. Can we move those zigzags up here? Maybe the zigzags will help. Okay, well that will go there for sure. We can do this. Oh, then we just got block. Huh? I feel I really feel like that big L goes there, but I don't know. And okay. Do we have a four? Rebuild. There's a block around here somewhere. Right here. Okay. Okay. Let's put this here. Ooh. Oh no, we need two, two and two, two. Which we don't have. Oh wait. Oh, just kidding. But this will not go here. Mm -hmm. Is that a space? So how about we take this out? Put the, that there. Oh, then we got two things here, unfortunately. Do we have a small L? Yeah. Okay. Then we have a couple of. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. What if we yeah, move this try, here? Try that way. Like I'm worried about this cross thing. Where's the cross go? Yeah. Okay, then you have the little L there. But then what are we gonna put here? I know, that's the thing. That's the problem. This is so <laughs> tricky. We may have to look at the answer for this one, folks. I think we they they finally stumped us with this challenge. Okay. I'm gonna just take some of these out. Okay. Well, okay, there's four right here. What if we do this? This? No. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you trying to make it, it yeah. fit. <laughs> trying to make it fit, darn it. 
Okay, so this one can go there. Yeah, but this is now we're in trouble. Oh, well, this one now can we go have, here. We have the little Z. This one yep. can go here. Oh, here. but I have a, a space for one cube. But yeah. Okay. Oh, but we need it there. I wonder if the cross and this one will fit together. Can we do that? The cross and which one? And this. And the C. Oh. Like a big block. Oh. And the sword. Maybe we can shift some of these around. Let us see what we can and do. And this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we still so we have this. But it's this thing that's killing us. Well, we if we do the L and then the two block. Okay, here's the two block. Here's the L. Oh, oh, here. Yeah, let's try that because maybe we can try something else over there. Okay. So I could do this. Do we have the little Z? Yeah. Oh, oh, but it's the wrong, it's the wrong one. Z. Oh, wow. Man. I don't know, folks. What do y'all think? <laughs> we do that. Night, James. Have a good one. Thank you, friend. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Huh. We have a sing you don't have a single one left, I do you? Okay. Right here. I put it over here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think we're stumped, folks. This may have gotten us. We might have to cheat. We might have to check the answer on uh, the app here. <laughs> Let's Google it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do have the app. Oh, oh wow. All right, thanks for reminding us to hydrate. I've got my lime-flavored LaCroix. And my water-flavored water. Let me show that water on water. All right, so I have the app. Are we, are we, should we, are we giving up or are we going to do a little more? Um, like, I really want to solve it, but I know that. Yeah, I, I do too. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, what if we do this? Becca Scott is rating with a party of 100. Oh my Why? gosh, Becca Scott. I'm, where's my rating helmet? <laughs> Friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. Got the rating hat. Thank you, Becca, for the raid. Much appreciated. My name is Ruel. This is my wife, Michelle. Welcome, Raiders. We are playing Puzzle Master, the Octonauts. So if you <laughs> like the children's show, the Octonauts, this is the game for you. It's a puzzly game. It's got an integrated app. Really cool uh, augmented reality and stuff. Becca, thank you for the raid. I think you were um, doing a role-playing game. Time. It was a TTRPG. I'm not sure, but thank you, friends. Speaking of Becca Scott, I am... Very happy to be co-hosting Good Looking Kickstarters with Becca. We just had a new episode drop. Bunch of great Kickstarters now uh, being funded, including this one. We didn't talk about this one on the show, but we talked about a bunch of other great ones there. You can check it out in the link uh, in chat. Michelle and I are playing the Octonauts Puzzle Master, and it's now on Kickstarter. Um, did I drop the link? I will drop the link one more time in there for you. Again, thank you, Becca, for the raid. Let's get back to the game. Apparently, we are not the puzzle masters at yeah. this time. <laughs> so, y'all are coming in towards the end of our stream. We have done a, a couple of these puzzles. The smaller one, the 2x2, two two, or the 2x1. Now we've got the 2x2, two two, and we're doing a challenge. So, these challenges are a little harder. You have the app here. We may have to check the answers in just a second. So Yeah. Yeah, we, we're, we're stumped, friends. I don't know how they got <laughs> all of these things to fit. Yeah. So for those of you just joining us, uh, this is the puzzle we're trying to complete, uh, the, the octopus. And then when you complete it, you're going to use the app. You go over here, press the little camera button. You're going to shoot the picture of this. And then a little, I'll show you real quick here while Michelle works on the puzzle. Uh, you're going to shoot the little thing here. And then, well, that's not going to do that. Let me go to the little world thing. You're gonna collect your. You're gonna find friends, and those friends are. Where are they? <laughs> Maggie, the magnifying yeah. glass is my friend. Yes. Yeah, so we have found a whale. We have found a frog, a flying fish. Maggie, the magnifying glass, uh, the squid, and uh, the turtle and the fish. And you can see it here. Here's our friend, the squid, swimming around. There's our little parrot fish. Uh, oh, there's the whale right there, the orca, swimming around. You can do that. So as you find them, they just get added to your world. And yeah, if y'all watch the Octonauts, we've never watched the Octonauts until earlier today. We were very, um, we had a 
lot of fun watching it. It's very, it's a kid's show, uh, very educational. And this has got the whole like STEM thing going on. It is a STEM org, STEM.org approved game. Um, Sliver says, great episode. Becca Scott recommended the cat game was awesome. Yeah, Becca, uh, I think it was called Catastrophe. So it was a cat <laughs> game. Really, really cute. Um, but thank you, Slivers, for saying that. And thank you, Raiders. Um, hang out with us. Um, we play board games here Tuesday through Thursdays, 7 p.m. Pacific. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, speaking of cats, we'll be back tomorrow with the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw game right back here at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought this was an extra piece. I think we're going to check the answer. Yeah. Okay. So in this particular challenge, we have the card here. The card doesn't actually tell you the answer, but you go to the app, you check the answer, and there it is. We have this part here. So let's take this all apart, and we'll just do it one by one. Okay. Okay. I can't see the... Oh, okay. Well, I, can't, I couldn't see it here because of the So we glare. have an L right here. Okay, so like the little L. Yeah. Or well, this L. Okay. And then the two by the two piece here. Okay. Whoops. Okay, and then continue. I'm just gonna go here. Uh, we have the other L right here. Where? Right here. Okay. And then right above that we have the uh, block, right here. And then the T is gonna go right next to the block. Where's that it? This is. Case yeah. right here. So Smack right dab here? right there, yep. And then under that T is the three by uh, three here. Three, here it is. Okay. And then right next to that is that squiggly like W. Yeah. This? This way? Yep. Okay. And then the Z goes in that corner. Or one of the Z's. Okay. Oh, okay, so we were trying to fit both yeah, of the Z's here together. Yeah, it was the squiggly oh. thing. <laughs> See, that's what I'm wondering. Like, you can um, place them on top of each other, so I wonder if they're going to do, like, eventually, like, a 3D type thing. Well, in the um, the video that you showed at the beginning, I believe the little kid was stacking them oh, okay. up like that. Yeah, and you can totally use this as, you know, building blocks as well. You, you know, even without this, you can totally, you know, stack them. Okay, and then on the far side here is the 4x um, line. Okay. On the edge? Yep. And then right next to this is going to be the big L. Big L. Big L. And then the C is going to be balicked under backwards right here. And then above the C is... Is that the other Z? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> no, I missed right. Take the W. The W goes there. Okay, the W goes... You're going to rotate it. Okay, this way. Yep. And then down there is the other Z. Okay, so we like did we, do that like one. we did do it. Okay. okay. Up in the top there is the cross. And then finish it out. Okay. There it is. Ah. Aha. We did it. We did it. <laughs> With a little help. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So we checked the answer. There it is, friends. Um, I wonder if we can take a picture of this. And Okay. So we now, uh, you're going to see what we do. We do the octopus there. It recognized uh, the puzzle. Um, oh, let me see. Do I take a picture? And then can we get the octopus? That's the question. Um, that's that. Oh, I think we have to go to the rescue part because we want to rescue the octopus. Okay. Oh, is that the story? So these animals are in the, like, underwater and we're rescuing them? I don't or are know if you just making this up? No, no, it's it's part of the show. Like, I don't know if they actually, it's, you know, they're like friendly rescues or whatever. That's why they become your friends. So those of you who just joined us, this is uh, the integrated app for Puzzle Master. There's our friend. And um, so now you have to go and catch, I think it's three. Um, you go three octopi. Octopi. So is that correct? That or? is correct. <laughs> uh, so you just move them around. Uh, I'm going to go here. Oh, back this way, buddy. And go fast. All right. And there's the third one. Go fast. I've cleared it. So three. I made two mistakes, unfortunately. Um, I got score 56. Press here. And we now have the octopus as a friend. Ollie the octopus <laughs> has joined our friends. <laughs> and there's the app right there. 
Speaking of friends, we want to thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support and just hanging out with us as we played um, Puzzle Master, the Octonauts from our friends at uh, Any Block Game. One final time, there is the link. Please check it out on Kickstarter. I uh, want to thank Becca for the raid. Um, also, um, shoot, who raided earlier? There was another raider earlier. My bad. I, oh, it was uh, Joe, Phantom Meeple. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Slivers, thank you, thank you for the entertainment. Always, always a pleasure, um, Slivers. Thank you, Corthane. Thank you, Panda Angel. Um, let's raid someone else, shall we? Tomorrow, Michelle and I will be back same time for Isle of Cats, Explorer, and Draw. Any final words before we get out of here? This this is fun. Yeah, I like this game. Yeah. And I feel like this is totally family friendly. Yep. You know, even like your your youngers can play this. Yeah. And even if they don't figure out the puzzle stuff, they can just build things. Yeah. You know, and it's a way, you know, if you want to get them off the phone or the uh, computer devices, this is a great way uh, to start them that way, you know, play them with the blocks, do puzzles. And if they really want to use the phone, hey. Now you can use the integrated app and you get your Octonauts and stuff. So. The best of both worlds. It is the best of both worlds. So, friends, thank you so much. I'm going to rate. We're going to find someone to rate. Let me, uh, let me do that right now. Uh, shout out to Annie Block for our um, uh, for the sponsorship tonight. You know, I think um, uh, Brain in a Jar was uh, streaming tonight, wasn't she? Brain in a Jar. Brain? Where you at, Brain in a Jar? Yeah. There's Brain in a Jar. We're going to raid Brain in a Jar, friends. So, shout out. Show some love to Kelsey and... Uh, to Casey, sorry. Casey and Miguel, a.k.a. Johnny Deathhawk, a.k.a. Brain in a Jar. We're going to raid them right now. Have fun. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. And, yeah, that's it, right? That's it. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.